How the heck are you doing? I'm doing great and I hope you are too. Today is a beautiful day out. I've been out and about doing things, doing some errands. And I just finished cleaning my tank, which I'll give you a short tour in a minute. But I wanted to talk to you about something I thought I would introduce to it. And that is Catomorpha algae. And that is a microalgae. That's this guy right in here that I picked up at Algae Barn. You can get it pretty much maybe at your uh, live fish store near you or something. But I'll leave a link down below for uh, Algae Barn if you'd like to get some. This guy was a little jar that I picked up. Uh, they don't have it too often, so when it comes into stock, I try to grab it. Uh, the last few times I missed, so this time I do have it. So I'm going to introduce it to my tank. And typically what you do is you put it in your refugium. Now the extra sump that I have down below my tank, my main tank, is not set up for a refugium. So I'm going to have to figure out something to do uh, to kind of contain this guy, to not get let it get in sucked into the intakes down there that uh, push the water back out into the tank system or the ones that pull it into the protein skimmer so I got to be careful about that so I'm going to be experimenting with this as far as how to introduce that and another thing that you'll need for that is also a, a light to light up the LG during the night hours because when you have your main tank on during the day that light goes off for the fish and the corals to kind of relax and hibernate for the night uh, what you want to do is have a light separate light that will turn on for your Kato and this is what I picked up through Amazon. It has a temperature control so it has three temperatures. It also has three brightness levels so it's just going to clip on the side of my sump down there and I can it will be able to control it with my timer I have down below uh, that turns on at night. It's got some plugs that turn on during the day and some plugs that turn on during the night. So that will work for that but my main concern will be to introduce this guy down there so I'm going to be looking to some uh, variations of what I can do for that. This is a great uh, algae, micro algae for the tank. And the main thing I got this for was to reduce my phosphates and nitrates. Now I haven't tested them in quite a long time and as you can see my tank is doing quite well. But I figure another uh, little barrier to help keep those at a even level or even at a zero level is what you want to shoot for would be the best way to do that. So. I'm going to introduce these to my tank, get that all set up, and I'll bring you an update on that. But let's go ahead and take a little tour of the tank, and I'll be right back. tank and how it's doing right now. Some people ask to, uh, like to see an update once in a while and I like to keep you guys happy. As you can see the blue clove polyps are kind of getting out of hand back there but I still like the look of them. They're not interfering with my other corals and stuff so I'll keep doing that. I'm going to introduce this guy and bring that back to you in another episode as far as how I did it. Uh, there's another thing called a uh, Kato uh, reactor where you actually put it in a reactor with lighting so I might try that step but we'll have to see but I hope you enjoyed this little update on my tank I look forward to bringing you my solution to introducing the Catomorpha LG into my tank system either in my sump or in a reactor and I hope it is successful and I hope you'll follow along too so don't forget to like and subscribe guys and I'll see you next time have a good one